great afternoon to all of you uh, thank you very much for joining this webinar i dr ravindra munje in charge head of electrical department kkwag institute of engineering education and research nasik india welcome you all this afternoon for the exciting and interesting webinar on adaptive tractor for n link rigid uh, robot manipulator via sliding mode control by dr saleh mobayen associate professor department of electrical engineering university of zanjan iran i welcome you dr saleh uh, just to brief uh, just to brief about the speaker and the participants about the institute and the department ours is the one of the oldest and leading education institute and it is accredited by national assessment and accreditation council india with a grade this is the first institute whose eight uh, engineering departments were accredited by national board of accreditation india simultaneously and the department of electrical engineering uh, is one of them which is accredited thrice also the institute acquired 85th rank published by national institutional ranking framework at national level in 2016 uh, today uh, we are presenting a topic uh, adaptive tracker for n link rigid robot manipulator uh, via sliding mode control presented by our speaker uh, shortly my colleague will introduce our speaker Uh, those who are working in control system area and that too in variable structure control with sliding mode control uh, this topic and discussion would be of very useful and interesting once again i welcome all the participants and speakers for this webinar now uh, i request my colleague jaya to introduce our today's speaker thank you okay good afternoon everyone Uh, i take the opportunity to introduce professor dr salen mopan he has been awarded phd in control engineering from tarvat motres university tehran iran currently he is working as an associate professor in the department of electrical engineering university of zanzan iran and also worked as a visiting professor in university of the west of england bristol uk he is the founder of the advanced control system laboratory department of electrical engineering university of zanzan he has been recognized as one of the top 1% researchers of the world in the engineering field in 2018 and 19 also is a winner of ijcas contribution award 2018 confirmed by the institute of control robotics and systems and he is nominee for the outstanding young scientist award by the academy of sciences iran in 2017 and 18 He has also worked as a chief investigator in various research projects. He has also offered many professional services by being a member of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering since 2013, the member of IEEE Control System Society, member of Iranian Society of Electrical Engineering, member of Iranian Association of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, member of Technical Committee on Variable Structure and Sliding Mode Control. He has around seventy-three publications in reputed journals with H index of thirty, citations of around one thousand seven hundred and sixty-three in Web of Science, uh, two thousand twenty-six in Scopus, and two thousand five hundred and forty-two in Google Scholar. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, this uh, webinar is about uh, adaptive uh, tracking controller for N-Link rigid robotic manipulators using uh, sliding mode control. We know that uh, sliding mode control is a, a robust nonlinear control technique for uh, uh, controlling and uh, tracking control of uh, linear. And non-linear uncertain uncertain uh, dynamical systems. Uh, in this work, uh, I want to uh, introduce uh, uh, some steps of this uh, research. In step one, uh, we want to uh, formulate the dynamic model of robotic manipulators, and in step two. Uh, the tracking error signal is defined. The tracking error signal 
is the difference between the desired and the actual uh, state trajectories. And also in uh, step three, uh, we want to design the global sliding surface. A uh, global sliding surface uh, is uh, a different kind of uh, sliding surface, which we will uh, we, we'll introduce it uh, in this work. And then we design the control input, the control signal uh, in a, a theorem. And also the adaptation now will be designed. Uh, and finally, the controller uh, can be implemented on robotic and uh, For formulation of dynamic model of robotic manipulators, uh, we can see here the uh, robotic manipulators uh, uh, schematic view. Uh, these are uh, robotic manipulators in different kinds. Uh, if we use the early, uh, early Lagrange formulation, uh, which uh, is introduced in uh, the Spanka and the Ludia Saga work, uh, we have this equation for uh, the dynamic model of uh, robotic manipulators. We can find this equation in most of the uh, control and robotic uh, books and the papers. And uh, uh, by formulating that uh, equation, we can find that this uh, Euler Lagrange equation for uh, ending ro uh, rigid robotic manipulator, uh, -U -U dot uh, uh, plus CAQQ dot U dot plus GAQ equal to uh, UT which uh, uh, Q, uh, where Q uh, is the joint position, Q dot is the uh, joint velocity, and Q double dot is the joint acceleration. And uh, uh, considering, uh, considering how the, uh, the vector of uh, disturbances, and also uh, considering the frictions and the static friction vector, the complete uh, dynamic model of uh, ending through uh, robotic manipulators, it can be found as uh, this equation, equation three. Uh, finally, uh, if uh, the term BQ is expressed as the BQ equal to B0 plus delta BQ, uh, where uh, B0 uh, is the noun part of BQ and the delta B is the unknown part uh, with the uh, uncertainties terms. Uh, then um, equation three can be uh, formulated uh, as uh, this equation uh, BQ Q double dot plus N uh, plus FD Q dot plus FS plus tau D equal to U. And uh, finally, um, Q double dot can be resulted as uh, this equation. Equation six uh, will be uh, used in our uh, control objective. Uh, finally, using uh, uh, equation six and uh, then uh, equation seven, uh, we can uh, use uh, this equation, equation seven is Q double dot equal to F0 plus uh, B0 inverse uh, multiplied to U uh, plus DT, um, which uh, is the uh, simplified form of the early Lagrange equation one uh, with the uncertainties and the uh, external disturbances terms. Uh, finally, the tracking error signal, which is the signal uh, between the actual and the desired position, Q minus uh, Q desired, uh, is the uh, tracking error signal. And its uh, derivative or uh, its time derivative uh, is the velocity, tracking velocity error. Uh, e dot plus uh, e dot equal to uh, q dot minus 
QD dot. Uh, then uh, we will use uh, the difference between in actual and the desired uh, position for the tracking error in this work. Uh, and uh, for the uh, design of uh, global sliding surface, we introduce uh, uh, such surface uh, for over state trajectories. Uh, or uh, state trajectories uh, are forced to uh, move uh, on the surface, on such surface, uh, ST equal to uh, G multiplied to RT uh, minus R, R0 uh, multiplied to XP uh, minus uh, beta T. Uh, this uh, uh, spatial form of sliding surface uh, can be used uh, for this reason that uh, we want uh, to have uh, SC0 uh, for the time that, uh, for the initial time. Uh, if uh, the time is uh, t equal to uh, zero, uh, this equation will be s zero equal to g multiplied uh, to uh, r is r zero minus r zero multiplied to uh, x p minus beta zero, uh, and this equation will be uh, finally zero. Then uh, the global sliding surface is designed uh, because of uh, initial time and uh, when we want to have uh, the sliding surface equal to zero uh, in the initial time. And finally, when uh, t goes to infinity, uh, when t goes to infinity, s infinite is uh, uh, um, G multiplied to uh, R infinite minus R zero multiplied to XP minus beta infinite. Uh, this uh, uh, exponential term is zero. And finally, uh, if uh, over state trajectories or uh, uh, over tracking errors uh, go to zero in the uh, infinite time, uh, then SAT will be uh, finally zero. Uh, this special form of the sliding surface uh, has uh, the value of zero in the initial and the uh, infinite time. And the RT in this term is uh, dependent to E dot plus uh, lambda ET, where uh, E is the tracking error and E dot is the time derivative of the tracking error. Uh, in this uh, remark, uh, I have uh, compared the uh, regular sliding surface uh, with the uh, global sliding surface compared with the sliding surface that is had. Uh, in this form, the global sliding nonlinear sliding surface A, which is uh, introduced above, uh, forces the error states to uh, reach the surface from the initial time. Uh, hence, the robust performance of the system in the presence of perturbations uh, is satisfied. Uh, the benefit of global sliding surface is that uh, then we have perturbations. Uh, such as uncertain parametric uncertainties or external disturbances in the system. Uh, actually, in the initial time, in the uh, in time t equal to zero, uh, these uh, uh, perturbations cannot uh, affect uh, on the uh, cannot affect on the system, uh, and then the robust performance of the system uh, can be. Uh, obtain. Uh, in this uh, uh, slide, uh, we have the, the proof of such a sliding surface, uh, and uh, we can see uh, that finally uh, 
the derivative, the time derivative of this sliding surface uh, can be uh, formulated as equation 12. Uh, start is the time derivative of this uh, global sliding surface, uh, which will be used in, the, in our uh, proofs later. Uh, and also, uh, considering E double dot equal to uh, Q double dot minus Q D double dot, uh, we can obtain that uh, equations uh, 7 and uh, 12 can be uh, written as equation 13. And finally, uh, we will use this equation in our uh, proofs for uh, uh, finding the uh, suitable control input. Uh, if we use uh, the control input uh, in this way, uh, UAT equal to uh, UA equivalent plus uh, UA auxiliary, uh, we will have the uh, start equal to zero. Uh, to find the, the equivalent Q, equivalent control input, uh, is uh, uh, this equation. And also uh, the auxiliary, uh, auxiliary uh, control cloud you know, or uh, auxiliary control input uh, as the nonlinear control input uh, can be formed in this equation. Uh, moreover, uh, we can see that uh, in practice, the upper bound of the system perturbations, uh, such as uh, upper bound of the external disturbances and the upper bound of uh, uh, parametric uncertainties, uh, are often uh, unknown, and therefore, the uh, norm of DAT as the perturbations term. Uh, is difficult to be determined. Uh, then we can assume that the uh, norm of the DAT is less than a parameter like the gamma. Uh, we can assume that the, the system perturbation is unknown but uh, bounded, bounded by a, a gamma. Gamma is, a, uh, is an unknown uh, positive constant. Then the, uh, if we assume this point that uh, uh, DAT is bounded, however unknown, uh, we can use uh, such parameter like gamma. And uh, uh, finally, using the estimation, uh, estimation or estimated value of gamma as gamma hat, uh, we can uh, use uh, an equation like uh, this one. Lan and comma uh, hex dot equal to kappa uh, multiplied to the norm of uh, SAT multiplied to QT. Uh, this equation is our adaptation now. Uh, we can uh, use uh, this equation, equation 15, for the uh, designing of uh, over adaptive control law. And uh, also uh, in the design procedure of uh, adaptation law, if we uh, integrate uh, equation 15, uh, gamma hat dot uh, can be formulated as uh, or written as gamma hat equal to kappa uh, integral of uh, norm of SAT, GAT, uh, G transpose, and DAT. Uh, this term uh, shows that uh, uh, gamma hat has the uh, uh, integral form, uh, and the gamma hat dot uh, is in the form of uh, kappa, and we can see. Uh, in equation 15, that gamma hat dot is in the form of kappa multiplied to uh, multiplied to the norm of SAT uh, multiplied to G transpose. Uh, we can see this equation. Uh, if we 
the kind of the, the integral value of uh, this term, comma f, can be written as this equation. Now, uh, substituting this equation, uh, this integral form equation, uh, into equation 16, uh, the auxiliary uh, control input or uh, the second part of uh, our control input, which is a nonlinear uh, function, uh, we can uh, have uh, such equation u auxiliary p is equal to uh, this term with the integral forms, with these integral forms. Finally, uh, we can prove that uh, the auxiliary uh, control input is in the form of, uh, in the form of a PI controller. Uh, it has uh, this term, chi of p multiplied to this norm, uh, plus chi i multiplied to integral of the norm. And uh, then the auxiliary, uh, auxiliary control input uh, has uh, two terms. Uh, the first the term uh, is the uh, P controller, chi P multiplied to uh, this norm plus uh, chi I multiplied to uh, the integral value of uh, uh, that norm. Uh, and the chi p and the chi i can be uh, uh, can be found uh, as these equations, uh, they are nonlinear equations with the sine functions. Uh, finally, uh, we can uh, present uh, this uh, theorem. Uh, in this uh, theorem, we can say that uh, assuming the global nonlinear sliding surface, which is uh, introduced above, and also assuming the, the system perturbation is a unknown, as an unknown but bounded function, uh, um, which means that gamma uh, bigger than norm of PT, uh, where gamma is an unknown positive constant, uh, and also assume that the gamma hat is the estimation value or estimated value of uh, uh, gamma, uh, which is estimated by the adaptation law uh, 15. Gamma, uh, we had uh, gamma hat dot equal to uh, kappa multiplied to a norm uh, using the control law 19 in this form. Uh, if we had uh, the, in this control law, then uh, it can be resulted that the state trajectories of uh, the uh, system of the robotic and linked rigid robotic manipulator can be converged to sliding surface uh, as equal to zero in the finite time. Uh, all of these works is uh, all of these works are for uh, this error in the finite time. And we will have this control now. Uh, we will have this control signal uh, for uh, forcing the state trajectories uh, to the uh, origin in the finite time and thereafter remain on it. And for having the finite time tracking control, uh, we have used the such control signal uh, and uh, we know that it is very uh, very important for us to help uh, to have the uh, finite time stabilization or uh, finite time tracking control uh, we know that uh, finite time control uh, is very important uh, for, for robotic manipulators when we want to have uh, uh, the finite time tracking of the state trajectory from one point to uh, another point. Then uh, this is the proof of uh, our uh, proposed control law. Uh, in this work, uh, we uh, say that uh, if the control law 19 is substituted into equation 13, 
uh, we can find the S part, uh, the time derivative of S, uh, time derivative of the proposed the global sliding surface uh, in this form. And uh, finally, if we use uh, uh, such the uh, kind of function, which is a positive definite, we see that uh, the first term is positive definite and the second term is positive definite. Uh, the uh, sum of the uh, two positive definite terms is positive definite. Uh, the Lyapunov function, the Lyapunov function candidate can be introduced in this form. And uh, also uh, using comma tilde uh, equal to comma hat minus comma uh, and uh, uh, using the time derivative of the the upon a function and uh, this term we dot equal to uh, s start plus comma uh, uh, plus uh, plus eta uh, comma tilde comma tilde dot uh, we can use uh, the proposed control law and uh, in this uh, proof and finally after uh, some calculations. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, V dot is uh, uh, less than minus omega VAT power to uh, 0 0.5. 0 .5. Uh, and uh, this term shows that uh, we have finally uh, the proof of a finite time control or finite time tracking control. Uh, if they can reach uh, this equation, equation uh, 23, then our uh, tracking control uh, is finite. Uh, and the state trajectories can converge to their origin in finite time. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, this result is very important. Uh, finally, using the adaptive tree tuning controller, the finite time convergence to the global nonlinear sliding surface uh, ST, uh, which is zero, is guaranteed. Uh, if they can uh, use uh, such, uh, uh, such um, theorem, uh, and uh, uh, we can obtain without uh, less than such term, uh, this uh, uh, finite time control concept is uh, more important and uh, uh, and very strong, more stronger than uh, asymptotic stability and the exponential stability. Uh, we know that in asymptotic uh, stabilization, uh, we have with that uh, less than zero or in uh, exponential stabilization, we have V dot less than uh, minus alpha V. However, uh, if the, uh, we can prove uh, such term, V dot less than minus omega uh, V power to uh, 0 0.5, uh, we can say that this form of uh, stabilization is very important for us because it is finite time. In simulation results, uh, we have uh, three simulations. Uh, in the first simulation, uh, we have two link elbow robotic manipulator. Where we can see uh, this robotic manipulator with two links. Uh, and this is the uh, equations of uh, and dynamical equations of two link elbow manipulators. And uh, with these uh, uh, constant values, uh, we can see uh, gamma hat and the uh, estimated value of gamma. Uh, this is uh, for the amount of uh, uh, perturbations. And also, uh, these uh, figures are for Q1 and Q2.
uh, and the Q1 and the uh, Q2 are the uh, states of uh, uh, over to to link elbow manipulator. Uh, we can see in these figures that uh, Q1 uh, at the first state, state trajectory and the Q2 at the second state trajectory uh, can follow the desired path. The desired path uh, uh, is the uh, red plot and uh, the black plot is the uh, over uh, state trajectories. And also, uh, this is the uh, sliding surface, global sliding surface. So we can see uh, that uh, it starts from zero and ends to zero. Uh, it is uh, it can be uh, zero in a finite time. The black diagram uh, shows the sliding surface. The blue. Uh, the blue plots are for uh, a comparison, comparison with the, the work of Voila and the SWAR. And the, the figures of uh, over controlled signals, uh, U1 and U2, uh, we can see uh, the uh, black plots are for over proposed method and the uh, blue plots are for uh, comparison with the other method. We can see that uh, our method uh, has uh, uh, chattering and also uh, has uh, less uh, oscillations and uh, uh, it is uh, more appropriate than the other method. For the second uh, uh, simulation results, uh, we can see uh, three, uh, rom, uh, three link or uh, three degrees of freedom uh, rigid robotic manipulator, uh, and uh, these are the plots of Q1, Q2, and Q3 for the state trajectories of uh, link one, link two, and the link three, Q1, Q2, and Q3 uh, with three um, motors uh, rotating. And uh, uh, this uh, black plot uh, is for uh, SAT, is for uh, global sliding surface in comparison with the uh, blue ones, blue sliding surfaces, for, uh, uh, which is used for comparison. And also uh, U1, U2, and U3 are for control signals. Uh, in all of uh, these simulations, we can see that our proposed method uh, is more suitable and effective than the other method. And uh, for the experimental results, uh, they have the uh, rotary inverted pendulum system, RIP system, in overlap, uh, which uh, uh, we have uh, used the this system, we can see the dynamic model of this system, the dynamic equations of this uh, rotary inverted pendulum system. We know that uh, in rotary inverted pendulum system, uh, we had to uh, have the, uh, some balance uh, in the uh, rotation, uh, rotational motor, and the balancing. Uh, and balancing pendulum. Uh, these are the experimental results for the degrees of uh, pendulum and degrees of R. We can see alpha P is the degree of pendulum and theta A is the degree of R. And it's the derivatives, the time derivatives or velocity, velocity of uh, pendulum and velocity of arm, and also this is for the sliding surface, the proposed sliding surface for this uh, practical system, and also uh, finally 
It is for and uh, duty is for the uh, control signal. In this work, uh, we have uh, proposed a, a novel adaptive uh, super twisting global nonlinear sliding mode control method for tracking control of uh, and link rigid robotic manipulators. Uh, and uh, also a global uh, sliding surface is defined and the robot the control method uh, uh, for the ending rigid robotic manipulators in a finite time is developed. And the uh, stated tracking errors of the system uh, can converge to the global sliding surface in a finite time. Uh, the global sliding surface was now and also uh, the design the control law for that surface uh, because of the finite time tracking uh, control was now uh, moreover uh, the system not only guarantees the robustness against the nonlinearities and the disturbances but also eliminates the reaching interval uh, elimination of reaching interval is because of GSMC, global sliding surface control method. And uh, because of using the adaptation control law, uh, the knowledge uh, of the uh, bounds of the uncertainties and disturbances is not required. Actually, uh, because designing the uh, adaptive control law, uh, we can estimate the upper bounds of the uncertainties and uh, it is not required to, to uh, know exactly the bounds of disturbances and uncertainties and uh, only um, it is required to know that uh, the bond of perturbations uh, is uh, known it's not now, but uh, it's bound. Uh, for uh, other research uh, which I have done, uh, I have worked on robot modeling and control, uh, and uh, optimal and uh, adaptive control techniques. Moreover, uh, I have worked on non-holonomic and unrestricted systems. Non-holonomic systems. Uh, uh, and the unrestricted systems are very important topics uh, in control and robotics. Uh, non holonomic uh, robotic systems are the systems uh, which have uh, some constraints in motion. Assume a vehicle that has you know, some constraints in motion. Uh, however, the unrestricted systems are the systems uh, that have uh, less control inputs uh, than uh, degrees of freedom. Uh, in unrestricted systems, the degrees of freedom is more than the control inputs or control signals. For example, uh, if a system has two control inputs and has uh, four degrees of freedom, it is unrestricted system because the uh, degrees of freedom or DOF of the systems uh, are uh, more than the control signal. Moreover, uh, other topics which I have uh, uh, worked there are uh, uh, artificial intelligence works uh, and uh, uh, working on evolutionary algorithms uh, and finite time control theories and also uh, robust tracking and model following of uh, uh, dynamical systems. Uh, about my completed and ongoing works, uh, I have worked uh, on uh, some research topics. Uh, first, the research topics uh, is uh, uh, obtained from my PhD thesis, uh, robust tracking and uh, transient performance improvement, uh, which I have, I have worked on 
uh, all of uh, these topics on certain time delayed systems, on restricted systems. I mean that uh, the robust tracking and the transient performance improvement on, uh, on certain time delay systems, on, uh, on the restricted systems, on certain nonlinear systems with time varying uncertainties and disturbances, on certain chaotic systems with the Lipschitz nonlinearities, chaotic systems with input nonlinearities and multiple uh, delays, offshore wind turbine, uh, rotary inverted syndrome, gearless uh, wind turbines, and uh, also uh, robot frequency regulation in mobile secretary. Uh, I have worked on uh, these works uh, uh, in various papers, and also uh, I have worked on finite time control of robust uh, tracking and model solving of uncertain dynamical systems, uh, finite time control of stabilization and synchronization of uncertain chaotic systems, uh, and also tracking control of non-homomic systems, stability of uncertain quad rotor UAVs, uh, and the tracking control of nonlinear uncertain massive spring systems and the contact and tracking hybrid control of prosthesis uh, These uh, research topics have been done in uh, using finite time control. Moreover, uh, I have worked on uh, adaptive control and disturbance observation of such systems, non-homonomic systems, uncertain non-linear time varying systems, uncertain nonlinear systems with time delays and the input nonlinearities and link rigid robotic manipulators, uh, secure communication uh, in WSL systems, unregistered systems, on the uncertain chaotic systems, and the singular time delay systems. Uh, if we can, uh, uh, if we want to introduce uh, uh, research diagram of uh, all of my works, uh, we can assume uh, these circles. Uh, the first uh, circle is the robust tracking and the transient performance improvement. The second circle is uh, adaptive control and the disturbance uh, observation. And the third circle is finite time control theory. Uh, my uh, research topic uh, right now is uh, in the intersection of these circles. Uh, in our lab, uh, um, Advanced Tech Control Systems Lab in our university, University of Zanjan, uh, we have worked uh, with my students on uh, these systems. Magnetic gravitation system is the uh, left system. This is a magnetic gravitation system. Uh, for uh, uh, actually, uh, it has uh, some uh, practical uses, for example, in trains. Uh, and the other system is design and the construction of a, a balance control system. Uh, it is a, a ball and beam system. Uh, the other practical system, uh, which uh, uh, we have uh, worked uh, with the students in our lab uh, is uh, for degrees of freedom manipulator with control the force of the indicator, uh, which uh, and this robot uh, uh, can uh, hold uh, a, a, an egg uh, in the arm and also uh, design and control of massive spring damper system. Uh, this is a massive spring system which has uh, some applications in uh, trains. Uh, this train is uh, from India, uh, which uh, in one of the cities of India, uh, this uh, project has been done. Uh, massive spring damper system in one of the uh, uh, stations of um, train station. Uh, moreover, I am 
associate editor of uh, these journals. Uh, some of the journals uh, are uh, uh, ISR journals and some of them are scuba space the journals. Uh, I have had uh, uh, some collaborations, international collaborations with uh, Spain, with one of the uh, universities uh, of uh, Spain, Catalonia University, uh, on rotary system. This work has been published in uh, Journal of the Franklin Institute, one of the uh, prestigious uh, journals in control engineering. And uh, the other work uh, uh, has been published in uh, one of the Iranian ISI journals with uh, Professor Gisela Kujo. Uh, moreover, uh, I have had another uh, collaboration with uh, uh, Professor Hans Richer and Professor Dan Simon uh, from Cleveland State University, uh, which uh, uh, in this work uh, we have used the terminal sliding mode control valve on a, a processed leg. I have designed the terminal sliding mode control lab here, and uh, uh, Professor Richard and Professor Simon uh, have uh, uh, implemented uh, this controller and uh, processes like. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I hope that uh, this presentation. Uh, as a good result for uh, the attendees. Uh, thank you very much for the wonderful and very nice presentation on uh, sliding mode control and its application to the robot manipulator. Uh, uh, we have just a few questions. Uh, the first question is uh, how you, uh, uh, how this super twisting algorithm is different from the conventional sliding mode control algorithm? Uh, well, uh, this super twisting uh, uh, global sliding mode controller has two, feature, uh, has two important features. Uh, for example, uh, these uh, uh, features are that uh, the first one uh, is uh, reduction of chattering. Uh, we can see that uh, our results has uh, our results have uh, less chattering than the uh, sliding mode control. Because it's because that uh, uh, in super twisting uh, um, global sliding mode control, uh, we do not use the time function. Uh, however, in the sliding mode, uh, the time function can be used. Uh, then uh, the benefit of uh, super twisting uh, sliding mode control uh, is uh, the uh, reduction or elevation of chattering. Uh, moreover, uh, in the global sliding surface, uh, in comparison with the uh, sliding mode control, uh, the performance of the global sliding mode control is robust. 
because of the definition of the global sliding surface. Then uh, this design uh, has two important features, reduction of chattering and also robust performance. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, there is one more question from uh, Dr. Kartik Chandran. How does one assess the extent of non-linearity so as to warrant the applicability of controllers used in the study? Uh, please repeat again uh, uh, your question. Uh, yeah. Uh, how, how does how does one assess the extent of non-linearity so as to so as to warrant the applicability of the controller? used in the study uh, this i will uh, i will re again uh, um, say this question the uh, participant wants to ask uh, how to assess the nonlinearity of the system when we are designing any controller how to assess the nonlinearity of the system so as to design the controller uh. Uh, how we can, uh, um, I couldn't understand uh, your question. Uh, it, um, I think that uh, uh, your question is about the nonlinearity. Nonlinearity yes, yes. Uh, non is of the system. Uh, the sliding mode control, uh, uh, sliding mode control, and global sliding mode control. Uh, can be used for uh, uh, nonlinear systems. Uh, if you want to uh, actually uh, design a controller for nonlinear systems with nonlinearities, high nonlinearities, uh, this uh, control, uh, this control method uh, uh, actually uh, can act very well uh, on such systems. Uh, however, uh, if we have uh, high nonlinearities and uh, uncertainties and disturbances uh, and uh, on model to dynamics on the system, uh, we can uh, assume in over control input uh, the on model to dynamics and nonlinearity, high nonlinearities and also uh, uncertainties and disturbances. Uh, as perturbation stems, as perturbation stems, uh, and uh, also uh, if the, uh, we know the bond of the perturbations, or or uh, like this work, uh, we uh, don't know the bond of the uh, uncertainties or and disturbances and uh, model dynamics and uh, nonlinearities. However, we, we only know that the uh, model dynamics and the uncertainties uh, are bound. Okay? Uh, in this case, uh, such robust control method uh, can assist or uh, can uh, perform very well on such systems because uh, this system is a robust system. Can uh, actually uh, perform very well uh, on linear and nonlinear systems with high nonlinearities. Okay, thank you. Uh, there is one more question. Uh, can you just highlight some of the areas, some of the areas in sliding mode control where upcoming researchers or uh, students can start their work? Uh, well, uh, for uh, the high, uh, highlighting the uh, ongoing works and the future topics uh, in this uh, research, uh, I can suggest uh, the path terminal sliding mode control techniques uh, and the uh, super tweaking path terminal sliding mode control techniques, uh, which uh, uh, in, in this, there is uh, more of uh, the researchers and the scientists work on it, and also uh, the uh, applications of uh, uh, super twisting control, uh, super twisting sliding mode control for uh, surgery applications. Uh, 
for surgery, robotic applications, uh, it can be a good topic uh, in these days. Uh, moreover, uh, the finite time uh, control, finite time control proofs uh, of attack terminal sliding mode control uh, is a uh, is an open problem right now, uh, and uh, actually um, proofing and uh, also uh, calculation of the finite time control. Uh, finite time control equations uh, for uh, pet terminal sliding mode control. Actually, in the uh, presence of the observer, disturbance observer uh, is, a, is an open problem. Uh, we saw in this paper that we had uh, the Lyapano function uh, as VAT equal to uh, two terms. The first term uh, was uh, dependent to uh, F, the sliding surface, and the second term was dependent to gamma tilde. Uh, gamma tilde uh, was uh, the uh, error of the uh, estimator, uh, and uh, we know that uh, gamma, uh, we, uh, uh, we don't know gamma, uh, and uh, we use gamma hat for the estimation of gamma. Uh, and we had the VAT, uh, the uh, positive definite of function, uh, and the uh, uh, and, um, two terms. The first term was the uh, sliding surface, the second term was for adaptive control. Now, the open problem in finite time control is that. Uh, using such terms uh, for the Lyapunov of function in the presence of uh, uh, disturbance observer, how we can prove uh, a finite time control or finite time tracking control. Uh, in finite time control, uh, finite time tracking control, uh, we have uh, this condition. V dot is less than minus alpha V minus Theta v the power to eta. V dot uh, less than minus alpha v minus theta v power to eta. Uh, and uh, if we can, if we want to uh, have a proof of uh, this equation in finite time control, in the presence of disturbance observer, we don't have any solution for it. And it is an open problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering all these queries. Uh, you have started uh, very well with uh, the concept of a robot and robot manipulator and then sliding mode control, how it is applied. I think uh, the role of robots during COVID and post COVID is going to become very significant and we need to start uh, or we need to increase our work on robot manipulators and robots. Uh, finally, you presented your my research diagram that was very interesting and uh, 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 what I feel is the important part of every uh, researcher. Uh, every researcher should have their own research diagram and I was really impressed by your research diagram where you presented all the research topics and how they are interrelated with each other. Then again, you presented all your uh, uh, experimental setups that you have developed in your lab and your collaboration with all other universities and professors abroad that was very uh, uh, interesting to all other participants now uh, with this i uh, request my colleague uh, mr bhupendra to propose a vote of thanks for this session okay yes sir uh, i would like to thanks our today's speaker dr sahale mohabi for making excellent presentation and making this webinar interesting and meaningful. And uh, also, uh, we have learned about different designing steps for an link rid rigid uh, robot manipulator via sliding mode control. Uh, I am sure this session will be useful for our participants. Thank you, sir.
i would like uh, i would uh, i would also like to thanks our management and principal for their moral support and guidance i am happy to express both our thanks to our participant and staff member who have support to us thank you sir thank you okay. very much thank i am so interested to collaborate with the uh, the professors and the students of your university uh, yeah. and yeah thank you so thank you thank you so we will uh, close our session now hmm?